Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the Balm Neat Matte Hues Liquid Lipstick and uh, this is the first product that I bought in a while, I think, that was not drugstore but you know I'm on a liquid lipstick kick right now I'm trying to try a bunch of different brands and after I try a few more I want to do a top liquid lipsticks video and show you what my absolute favorites were of everything that I tried. So anyway, this is the Balm Meet Matte Hues Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. This was $17. I purchased this at Kohl's. As far as I know, Kohl's is the only place where you can buy this brand in a physical store. If you don't have a Kohl's near you, you can buy it from the Bomb website. It comes in eight different shades, and this shade just spoke to me. When I looked at the eight shades that were available, this was the one that... It just jumped off the shelf at me. <laughs> and they didn't have a tester out. Somebody stole the tester. So um, at Kohl's, they have, like, one person who is in charge of the beauty department and you know they'll answer any questions that you have blah 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 so I told uh, the lady in charge of the department I said oh there's no tester and I really wanted to see this on my skin instead of just looking at it and purchasing it so she um, she found uh, this little deluxe sample thing and she let me use that as a tester and uh, even though I have this on my lips right now, I just want to show you what a swatch would look like versus what it looks like on my lips. So that is the shade. And the Balm describes this as a pinky nude. And mm, yeah, I, I would say that's true. But to me, it's, it's just more like a pink. I don't think of this really as a nude shade, but um, it has a smell. The smell is vanilla mint, and I love it, but I know some people don't like scented products. I don't mind scented products as long as it's a smell that I like, but it smells really, really good. Um, but once it's dry on your lips, you won't, you won't smell it anymore. So... I splurged on this because I have heard good things about these liquid lipsticks and we were there buying some clothes and after I picked out what I wanted for clothes I found myself over at the beauty department and started looking at the makeup and shouldn't have because most if not all of the brands of makeup that they sell at Kohl's is high-end department store type brands and I started looking at these and I just, I couldn't resist. The one thing that I don't like about um, Kohl's is you can't use any of the coupons on the makeup uh, because it always says uh, not to be used on prestige brands or something to that effect. I think they do maybe have one or two brands that aren't considered prestige. But it's just like how when you shop at Ulta, you can't use the coupons for things on the department store makeup type side of the store. Well, it's, it's like that at Kohl's too. They have maybe one or two brands that are considered prestige, but for the most part, um, you can't. The only thing off the top of my head that I can think of that you can use the coupons for, because I've done it, and that's uh, Real Techniques makeup brushes. So if you ever have a coupon and you can't find anything for clothes, you can always get some uh, brushes. Anyway, I love this. This formula is fantastic. It's it's not like a thick, moussey, heavy texture like some of the liquid lipsticks are. But it isn't that thin alcohol type um, formula either. It's like the perfect balance between liquid and the whipped cream consistency that a lot of them are. It's It's really, really nice. And it does dry to a complete matte finish. I put kind of a thick swatch on there so you can still see a little bit of the moisture there. But 
Yeah, it dries completely matte. And the color range, um, there are eight shades in the range, and they have two reds, they have three pinks, they have a wine. I don't know if you would consider wine a red or not. I don't really. <laughs> and then this, which is pinky nude, that's what they call it anyway. And then the eighth one is uh, coral. So that's the color range. They don't have any crazy trendy colors. All the colors are things that, you know, um, the types of lip colors that have been around for quite a while. So there is, you won't find like any grays or uh, purples or, you know, the browns are the things that uh, a lot of people are into right now. But that's okay because, I mean, basic staple colors are good for everyday wear, especially if you're going to work or school or whatever. Um, let's see, what else would you like to know about this? How does it feel on your lips? It feels awesome. It, um, it feels good, but I would still recommend that you moisturize your lips ahead of time because any liquid lipstick is going to be drying uh, at least to a small degree anyway. So just make sure you moisturize your lips and then it will be fine. It does not show any um, lines on your lips. Once it's dry, it looks fantastic. It's not going to move. Um, the finish on it is is beautiful. I am so, so impressed with this. Did I even tell you the name of the color I have on? I don't think I did. It's called Committed. And um, yeah, this is, this is beautiful. I love this so much. Now, as far as a liner goes, I did not use a liner when I applied this, but when I finished, I like a nice crisp, clean edge to my lip products. So after I applied the lipstick and it was dry, I looked through my liners and discovered that MAC Whirl gave it um, just the it's just the right color and it blended in well but it gave it just a little bit of definition so if you like Mac Whirl the color of it then you would probably really like committed to but I feel like this was a great great pairing because to me I always want my liner to be just a hair darker than the lip product that I'm using and that's what's going to give you that nice definition. So I do have a liner on. You don't have to use a liner. It's not one of those ones that you have to line and fill in your lips and then put it on top. All I did was after I have, like I said, after I put the liquid lipstick on, I just very lightly gave it just a, a light, light line around the edges. Oh, and uh, something else I wanted to show you. When I purchased that lipstick, the beauty advisor, I guess that would be the title, she gave me the cutest little blush sample from the Balm. It's from one of their in-stain in blushes. Isn't that the most adorable thing you've ever seen in your life? And this is, um, oh, I guess you would say this is a peach. It's a like a dark peach. So that's what I have on for a blush today. Uh, it goes goes pretty well with the lip shade, I think. Even though this is supposed to be a pinky nude and this is really a dark peach, I still think that this is, this kind of straddles the line between pink and peach. It's one of those peachy pink colors that looks so good on everybody. But I just thought that this little blush sample was the cutest little thing. I do not have any of the Balm and Stain blushes, so I was very happy to get this as a little uh, gift for buying the lipstick so that was nice and um, let's see I'm trying to think if there was anything that I forgot to tell you so the only thing that I haven't talked about is transfer and I feel like I've had this on long enough I, I've had it on for about um. I would say maybe 15 minutes. So that should be long enough that it should be completely set by now. 
So let's see if there's any transfer. I have already worn this before, but I didn't do like a transfer test or anything. So let's let's do the kiss test and see if it transfers. All right, I've got got just a hint, just ever so slightly a hint. And you know what? That could even be my liner that's transferring. But if there is transfer, it's just the tiniest, tiniest little amount. So I can I can deal with that. I just can't stand it when you take a glass of water and then you see this giant lip print on the glass. Oh, that grosses me out. And then I, I don't even want to finish my drink after that. I don't know. I, I hate that. Um, I guess that's it. If you have any questions, of course, uh, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But I'm seriously impressed with this. And if I wasn't on a quest to try a lot of different brands, I probably would get more colors of this. But at $17 a pop, mm, uh, there is one other color in the line that I thought was really pretty. But you know, if and when I ever do purchase more, it'll be down the road because I really do want to try some other brands too so I can, like, figure out which ones are the best. But this will most likely be... It's 11 o'clock. <clears throat> this will most likely be in that video um, because this is definitely one of the best ones that I've tried so far. So that's it for today, you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and have a nice weekend, too. Bye.